Hi, welcome to Jesus for All to God's Word, Your Daily Bread. For April 25th, 2022, John 6.35 says, And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. This is a small introduction to Jesus for All too. The book of John, chapter 14, verse 12. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. In the Son, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. And John 14, verse 6 to 7 reads, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also, and from now on you know him and have seen him. Amen. So we know that faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God, according to Romans ten seventeen, And the book of John, chapter 1, Verse 1 through 2 reads, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Verse 2, He was in the beginning with God. And verse 14, And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And verse 12, But as many as received Him, to them He gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name. And the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And First Peter, chapter 2, verse 24 reads, Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. Amen. And the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15, reads, If you love me, keep my commandments. And the book of Matthew, chapter 22, verse 37, Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And verse 38, this is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. So the, these are the first two great commandments, that if we love Jesus, we will keep them. And verse 16, and I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. John fourteen seventeen, the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans, I will come to you. And John 15, verse 26, But when the Helper comes, whom I shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify of me. John 16, verses 8 to 11. And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin, and of righteousness, and of judgment. Of sin, because they do not believe in me. Of righteousness, because I go to my Father, and you will see me no more. Of judgment, because the ruler of this world is judged. Amen. Hallelujah. And the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 18 through 19, And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Amen. Hallelujah. And glory to God in the highest. And the book of John, chapter 15, verse 7 reads, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. The words that we will receive today, April 25th, 2022, are from Psalm 92, 
Proverb 25 because it is the 25th day of the month and there are 31 Proverbs, seemingly one for each day of the month. The Old Testament reading will be from the book of Joshua, chapter 21, verse 1 through chapter 22, verse 34. And the New Testament reading will be from the book of Luke, chapter 13, verses 1 through 22. And now, God's word, the bread. Amen. This is a song for the Sabbath day, Psalm 92, and it reads, It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. On an instrument of ten strings, on the lute and on the harp, with harmonious sound. For you, Lord, have made me glad through your work. I will triumph in the works of your hands. O oh Lord, how great are your works! Your thoughts are very deep. A senseless man does not know, nor does a fool understand this. Verse 7. When the wicked spring up like grass, and when all the workers of iniquity flourish, it is that they may be destroyed forever. But you, Lord, are high forevermore. For behold your enemies, O Lord, for behold your enemies shall perish, and all the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But by horn you have exalted like a wild ox. I have been anointed with fresh oil. My eye also has seen my desires on my enemies. My ears hear my desire on the wicked who rise up against me. The righteous shall, per shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be fresh and flourishing. To declare that the Lord is upright. He is my rock. And there is no unrighteousness in him. Amen. Amen. And amen. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This word is already blessed. And now, Proverb 25. And it reads, These are the Proverbs of Solomon, which the men of Hezekiah, king of Judah, copied. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter, but the glory of kings is to search out a matter. As the heavens for height and the earth for depth, so the heart of kings is unsearchable. Take away the dross from the silver and it will go to the silversmith for jewelry. Take away the wicked from before the king and his throne will be established in righteousness. Do not exalt yourself in the presence of the king and do not stand in the place of the great. For it is better that he say to you, Come up here, than that you should be put lower in the presence of the prince, whom your eyes have seen. Do not go hastily to court, for what will you do in the end when your neighbor has put you to shame? Debate your cause with your neighbor, and do not disclose the secret to another. Least he who hears it expose your shame, and your reputation be ruined. A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in settings of silver. Like an earring of gold and an ornament of fine gold is a wise rebuker to an obedient ear. Like the cold of snow in time of harvest is a faithful messenger to those who send him, for he refreshes the soul of his masters. Whoever falsely boasts of giving is like clouds and wind without rain. By long forbearance a ruler is persuaded, and a gentle tongue breaks a bow. Have you found honey? Eat only as much as you need, lest you be filled with it and vomit. Seldom set foot in your neighbor's house, lest he become weary of you and hate you. A man who bears false witness against his neighbor is like a club, a sword, and a sharp arrow. Confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a bad tooth and a foot out of joint. Like one who takes away a garment in cold weather, and like vinegar on soda, is one who sings songs to a heavy heart. 
If your enemy is hungry, give him bread to eat, and if he is thirsty, give him water to drink. For so you will heap coals of fire on his head, and the Lord will reward you. The north wind brings forth rain, and a backbiting tongue, and angry continents. It is better to dwell in the corner of a house top than in a house shared with a contentious woman. As cold water to a weary soul, so is good news from a far country. A righteous man who, fa who falters before the wicked is like a murky spring and a polluted well. It is not good to eat much honey, so to seek one's own glory is not good. Verse 28 and last. Whoever has no rule over his own spirit is like a city broken down without walls. Amen and amen and amen. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed, as is I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, every hearer. Hallelujah and glory to God. And now the Old Testament reading, which is from the book of Joshua, beginning at chapter 21 today. Amen. The book of Joshua, chapter 21, and it reads, Then the heads of the fathers' houses of the Levites came near to Eliezer the priest, to Joshua the son of Nun, and to the heads of the fathers' houses of the tribes of the children of Israel. And they spoke to them in Shiloh, in the land of Canaan, saying, The Lord commanded through Moses to give us cities to dwell in, with their common lands for our livestock. So the children of Israel gave to the Levites from their inheritance, at the commandment of the Lord, these cities and their common lands. Now the lot came out for the families of the Kohathites and the children of Aaron the priests, who were of the Levites, had thirteen cities by lot from the tribe of Judah, from the tribe of Simeon, and from the tribe of Benjamin. The rest of the children of Kothan had ten cities by lot from the families of the tribe of Ephraim, from the tribe of Dan, and from the half-tribe of Manasseh. And the children of Gershon had thirteen cities by lot from the families of the tribe of Issachar, from the tribe of Asher, and from the tribe of Naphtali, and from the half-tribe of Manasseh in Bashan. The children of Merari, according to their families, had twelve cities from the tribe of Reuben, the tribe of Gad, and from the tribe of Zebulun. And the children of Israel gave these cities with their common lands by lot to the Levites, as the Lord had commanded them by the hand of Moses. So they gave from the tribe of the children of Judah and from the tribe of the children of Simeon these cities which are designated by name, which were for the children of Aaron, one of the families of the Kohathites, who were of the children of Levi, for the lot was theirs first. And they gave them Kirjath Arba. Arba was the father of Anak, which is Hebron, in the mountains of Judah, with the common land surrounding it. But the fields of the city and its villages they gave to Caleb, the son of Jepha, Jephaniah, as his possession. Verse 13. Thus to the children of Aaron, the priests, they gave Hebron, with its common land, a city of refuge for the slayer. Libna, with its common land. Jatir, with its common land. Estomea, with its common land. Holon, with its common land. Deber, with its common land. Ain, with its common land, Jutah, with its common land, and Beth Shemesh, with its common land, nine cities from these two tribes. And from the tribe of Benjamin, Gibeon, with its common land, Giba, with its common land, Anahoth, with its common land, and Almon, with its common land, four cities. All the cities of the children of Aaron, the priests, were thirteen cities with their common lands. Verse 20, And the families of the children of Kohath, the Levites, the rest of the children of Kohath, <coughs> pardon, <coughs> pardon me, even they had the cities of their lot from the tribe of Ephraim. For they gave them Shechem with its common land in the mountains of Ephraim, a city of refuge for the slayer. 
Gezer, with its common land, Kibzain, with its common land, and Beth Horon, with its common land, four cities, and from the tribe of Dan, Eltaka, with its common land, Gibbethon, with its common land, Ajalon, with its common land, and Gathrimon, with its common land, four cities, and from the half tribe of Manasseh, Tanakh, with its common land, and Gath Ribon, with its common land, two cities. All the ten cities with their common lands were for the rest of the families of the children of Kohath. Verse 27. Also, to the children of Gershon, of the families of the Levites, from the other half tribe of Manasseh, they gave Golan in Bashan with its common land a city of refuge for the slayer. And B. Eshterah and its common land, two cities. And from the tribe of Issachar, Kishon with its common land, Dabaroth with its common land, Jarmuth with its common land, and in Genim with its common land, four cities. And from the tribe of Asher, Mishal with its common land, Abdon with its common land, Helka with its common land, and Rehob with its common land, four cities. And from the tribe of Naphtali, Kadesh in Galilee with its common land, a city of refuge for the slayer, Hamath Dor with its common land, and Katan with its common land, three cities. All the cities of the Gershonites, according to their families, were thirteen cities with their common lands. And to the families of the children of Merari, the rest of the Le Levites from the tribe of Zebulun, Jachnim with its common land, Kata with its common land, Dimna with its common land, and Nahalal with its common land, four cities. And from the tribe of Reuben, Bezor with its common land, Jahaz with its common land, Kedemoth with its common land, and Methpa with its common land, four cities. And from the tribe of Gad, Rimoth in Gilead with its common land, a city of refuge for the slayer. Manaham with its common land, Heshbon with its common land, and Jazer with its common land, four cities in all. So all the cities for the children of Merari, according to their families, the rest of the families of the Levites were by their lot twelve cities. All the cities of the Levites within the possession of the children of Israel were forty-eight cities with their common lands. Every one of these cities had its common land surrounding it. Thus were all these cities. So the Lord gave to Israel all the land of which he had sworn <coughs> to give to their fathers, and they took possession of it and dwelt in it. The Lord gave them rest all around, according to all that he had sworn to their fathers, and not a man of all their enemies stood against them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their hand. Not a word failed of any good thing which the Lord had spoken to the house of Israel. All came to pass. Amen. Chapter 22 Then Joshua called the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. And said to them, You have kept all that Moses the servant of the Lord commanded you, and have obeyed my voice in all that I commanded you. You have not left your brethren these many days up to this day, but have kept the charge of the commandment of the Lord your God. And now the Lord your God has given rest to your brethren as he promised them. Now therefore return and go to your tents and to the land of your possession, which Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave you on the other side of the Jordan. But take careful heed to do the commandment and the law which Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, to love the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, and to keep his commandments, to hold fast to him, and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. So Joshua blessed them and sent them away, and they went to their tents. Half, verse 7. Now to the half-tribe of Manasseh, Moses had given a possession in Bashan, but to the other half of, half of it, Joshua gave a possession among their brethren 
on this side of the Jordan westward. And indeed, when Joshua saw them away, sent them away to their tents, he blessed them. And he spoke to them, saying, Return with much riches to your tents, with very much livestock, with silver and with gold, with bronze, with iron, and with very much clothing. Divide the spoil of your enemies with your children, with your brethren. So the children of Reuben, the children of Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh returned, and departed from the children of Israel at Shiloh, which is in the land of Canaan, to go to the country of Gilead, to the land of their possession, which they had obtained, according to the word of the Lord, by the hand of Moses. Verse 10. And when they came to the region of the Jordan, which is in the land of Canaan, the children of Reuben, the children of Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, built an altar there by the Jordan, a great, impressive altar. Now the children of Israel heard someone say, Behold, the children of Reuben, the children of Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh have built an altar on the frontal of the land of Canaan, in the region of the Jordan, on the children of Israel's side. And when the children of Israel heard of it, the whole congregation of the children of Israel gathered together at Shiloh to go to war against them. Then the children of Israel sent Phinehas, the son of Eliasha, the priest, to the children of Reuben, to the children of Gad, and to the half-tribe of Manasseh, into the land of Gilead, and with him ten rulers, one ruler each from the chief house of each tribe of Israel, and each one was the head of the house of his father, among the divisions of Israel. Then they came to the children of Reuben, to the children of Gad, to the children of the half-tribe of Manasseh, to the land of Gilead. And they spoke with them, saying, Thus says the whole congregation of the Lord, What treachery is this that you have committed against the God of Israel, to turn away this day from following the Lord, in that you have built for yourselves an altar, that you might rebel this day against the Lord? Is the inequity of the poor pure not enough for us, from which we were not cleansed till this day, although there was a plague in the congregation of the Lord? but that you must turn away this day from following the Lord, and it shall be, if you rebel today against the Lord, that tomorrow he will be angry with the whole congregation of Israel. Verse 19. Nevertheless, if the land of your possession is unclean, then cross over to the land of the possession of the Lord, where the Lord's tabernacle stands, and take possession among us, but do not re rebel against the Lord, nor rebel against us by building yourselves an altar, besides the altar of the Lord our God. Did not Achan the son of Zorah commit a trespass and then a cursed thing, and wrath fell on all the congregation of Israel? And that man did not perish alone in his inequity. Then the children of Reuben, the children of Gad, and the half tribes of Manasseh answered, and said to the heads of the divisions of Israel, The Lord God of God, the Lord God of gods, he knows, let Israel itself know, it is in it is if it is in rebellion or in treachery against the Lord, do not save us this day. If we have built ourselves an altar to turn from following the Lord, or if to offer on it burnt offerings or grain offerings, or if to offer peace offerings on it, let the Lord Himself require an account. But in fact we have done it for fear, for a reason, saying, In time to come your descendants may speak to our descendants, saying, What have you to do with the Lord God of Israel? For the Lord has made the Jordan a border between you and us, you children of Reuben and the children of Gad. You have no part in the Lord, so your descendants would make our descendants cease fearing the Lord. Therefore we said, Let us prepare to build ourselves an altar, not for burnt offerings, nor for sacrifice but that it may be a witness between you and us and our generations after us, that we may perform the service of the Lord before him with our burnt offerings, with our sacrifices, and with our peace offerings, that our descendants, that our descendants may not say to our descendants in time to come, you have no part in the Lord. Therefore we said that it will be, when they say this to us, or to our generations in time to come, that we may say, Here is the replica of the altar of the Lord, which our fathers made through not, though not for burnt offerings, nor for sacrifices, but is a witness between you and us. For far be it from us that we should rebel against the Lord, and turn from following the Lord this day, to build an altar for burnt offerings, for grain offerings, or for sacrifices. 
<clears throat> besides the altar of the Lord, which are God, which the Lord God, the Lord our God, which is before his tabernacle. Verse 30. Now when Phinehas the priest and the rulers of the congregation, the heads of the divisions of Israel, who were with him, heard the words that the children of Reuben, the children of Gad, and the children of Manasseh spoke, it pleased them. Then Phinehas, the son of Eliezer the priest, said to the children of Reuben, the children of Gad, and the children of Manasseh, This day we perceive that the Lord is among us, because you have not committed this treachery against the Lord. Now you have delivered the children of Israel out of the hand of the Lord. Verse 32. And Phinehas, the son of Eliezer the priest, and the rulers, returned from the children of Reuben and the children of Gad, from the land of Gilead to the land of Canaan, to the children of Israel, and brought back word to them. So the thing pleased the children of Israel, and the children of Israel blessed God. They spoke no more of going against them in battle to destroy the land where the children of Reuben and Gad dwelt. Verse 34 and last. The children of Reuben and the children of Gad call the altar witness, for it is a witness between us and the Lord our God. Amen. And this word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, is already blessed. <clears throat> As is, I pray in Jesus' name, is every hero. And now, the New Testament reading from the book of Luke. Beginning At beginning a chapter, continuing in chapter 12, verse 48. But he did not know, yet committed things deserving of stripes. But he who did not, but committed things deserving of stripes, shall be beaten with few. For every one to whom much is given, from him much will be required, and to whom much has been committed, of him they will ask the more. I came to send fire on the earth, and how I wish it were already kindled. But I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how distressed I am till it is accomplished. Do you suppose that I came to you to give peace on earth? I tell you not at all, but rather division. For from now on five in one house will be divided, three against two, and two against three. Father will be divided against son, and son against father. Mother against daughter, and daughter against mother. Mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Then he also said to the multitudes, Whenever you see a cloud rising out of the west, immediately you say, A shower is coming. And so it is. And when you see the south wind blow, you say, there will be hot weather, and there is. Hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky and of the earth, but how is it you do not discern this time? Yes, and why, even of yourselves, do you not judge what is right? When you go with your adversary to the magistrate, make every effort along the way to settle with him, lest she drag you to the judge, and the judge deliver you to the officer, and the officer throw you into prison. I tell you, you shall not depart from there till you have paid the very last mite. Amen, amen, and amen. <clears throat> Hallelujah, and glory to God in the highest. Amen. And chapter 13, verse 1. There were present at that season some who told him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. 
And Jesus answered and said to them, Do you suppose that these Galileans were worse sinners than all other Galileans because they suffered such things? I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Or these eighteen on whom the tower in Siloam fell and killed them, do you think that they were worse sinners than all other men who dwelt in Jerusalem? I tell you, no, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. He also spoke this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came seeking fruit on it and found none. Then he said to the keeper of his vineyard, Look, for three years I have come seeking fruit on this fig tree and found none. Cut it down. Why does it use up the ground? But he answered and said to him, Sir, let it alone this year also and till I dig around it and fertilize it. And if it bears fruit, well, but if it does not after that, you can cut it down. Now he was t teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath, and behold, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity, eighteen years, and was bent over and could not, <clears throat> could in no way raise herself up. But when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said to her, Woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight, and glorified God. But the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation, because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath. And he said to the crowd, There are six days on which men ought to work. Therefore come and be healed on them, and not on the Sabbath day. The Lord then answered him and said, Hypocrite, does not each one of you on the Sabbath loose your ox or donkey from the stall, and lead it away to water it? So ought this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound, think of it, for eighteen years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath. And when he heard said these things, all his adversaries were put to shame, and all the multitude rejoiced in all the glorious things that were done by him. Then he said, What is the kingdom of God like, and to what shall I compare it? It is like a mustard seed which a man took and put in the garden, and it grew and became a large tree, and the birds of the air nested in its branches. And again he said, To what shall I liken the kingdom of God? It is like leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal, till it was all leavened. And he went through the cities, and villages teaching and journeying toward Jerusalem. Amen. And the word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ is already blessed. As is, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ is every era. Amen. And as we have heard in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that our faith has increased and in the name of Jesus that, do, that Psalm 107 verse 20 has become our portion. He sent his word and healed us and delivered us from our destructions. Amen, amen, and amen in Jesus' name.